Yeah, the belly is live. Live in the kitchen and live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yeah, the belly is live. Yeah, the belly TV is live. Live, live, live. Yeah, the belly is live. Live in the kitchen and live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yeah, the belly is live. Yeah, the belly TV is live. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to each and every one. Today is a new day. First and foremost, let me apologize for coming in so late this morning. This morning was one of those mornings where we totally, totally got lost in translations, yeah? It's one of those mornings, yeah? When we're just running late. I don't know if we're celebrating or what, I don't know. I'm, I just don't know, you know? But yeah, we're gonna get it done just the same. I'm here sharing, yeah? Good morning, Heart of Worship. Yeah, this morning we're making we're making our a, a, a new spin on like mackerel rundown, but we're not using salt mackerel because again, you know salt mackerel, salt is salt. So we are try avoid the excess salt. So we're not use salt mackerel. But we're gonna use um it are nice. You know, you know already said are nice. Yeah, for real, for real, for real. All right, so I'm just trying to get this part of the the morning done as it relates to typing in these things so good morning once again um hold on click on the link i have to talk it out because we can't spell it <laughs> all right i think i did a good job right there all right good morning once again i know there's a bunch of folks on if you want to let me know where you're logging on from that would be greatly appreciated yeah are we where you're checking in from? Are we checking in? Are we checking in? All right, so live chat. Let me click on that so that we can see what's going on in our chat room. Way, way, Campbell, good morning to you. All right, 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 all right. So this morning, we are it's gonna be um as much as possible. An abbreviated version of our regular um you know regular breakfast live um we're gonna do the best we can to get you in and out of the kitchen in a quick fast and in a hurry so please work with us all right all right um i see somebody um from trenton new jersey Good morning to you. Good morning, every big black. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, as I said before, we are using uh, a particular um, fish this morning to make this. This. Um, we, I, I. I don't know if I wanted it curry, but you know, I'm. I'm gonna work with it nonetheless. Um, the wife has said, "Might as well just go ahead and curry." It. So that's what we're gonna do. All right. Good morning once again to each and everyone all right anybody that's under the sound of my voice good morning to you this morning we're using frozen fish yes not because but still for all we we, we what i what i've done with this channel what i've been trying to do with this channel is to try to show you guys that you can use what you have you know what i mean whatever is available especially nowadays when you know it's not all that efficient to be out and about, you know, doing the shopping and all of that. Sometimes you just have to work with what you have, yeah? And I'm not, I don't believe in wasting um, food or, you know, 
um, going out of your way to get extra food or, you know, stuff like that. I mean, just work on what you have, okay? So that's pretty much what we're gonna do this morning. I'm gonna show you what I have, uh, my list of ingredients. Uh, the wife here, a wave tuna from behind, behind the scenes. Shelly Elaine Martin, good morning to you. Good morning. Barrington Christian, good morning to you, sir. Yeah? It's one of them morning there. All right? It's one of those mornings. All right. Let me... I'm cleaning up as I go, so bear with me, guys. As usual, that's my, my little pet peeve. Always be cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up. All right. Um... That's that's a good point. Um, Heavy Big Black says, you know, don't want to store up too much food and have this whole heap of food, you know, bungle up. Jamaicans say bungle up if you're not Jamaicans. You just uh, hear one of the words. I'm like, oh, my wife, always have some words. Yeah? So let me show you my list of ingredients this morning. I have here some grouper fillets. And this is, this, this is one of the better version of filleted fish. It, it's like grouper fingers, you know? Um, group of, it grows to be a big fish and sometimes when they you know, the, the commercial people them, 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 them do it like this so that you can fry this up it's almost like catfish fillet good morning Devana how are you and so we got this at our local fishmonger in Miami um, place that we shop all the time and it's it's very convenient because you can do a whole lot of different stuff with this. You can fry it like like um you know like fish fingers or or anything like that, or you could steam it, you could curry it, whatever you want to do with it, you know. Um, so it is very versatile. This morning we're using it for a breakfast item. So so every now and then we want like a rundown. Jamaicans love mackerel rundown, but however, sometimes you have to limit the amount of salt. All right, Barrington Christian, this is how we get the fish. This is how the fish um, is sold. All right, so it's not that we take off the skin. I know the, the whole idea behind group of, group, um, grouper skin and how nice it is, gummy, nice, collagen rich fish. So, yeah, good morning, Trudy. Good morning, Troy. So, this is how we get the fish, right? And it's, it's, um, it's very versatile, as I said before. All right, so. We're pretty much just gonna because of the purpose of what we're gonna do i've washed my fish already clean it properly and i'm just gonna add some seasonings to it now naturally cleaver good morning from europe europe in the house so we're adding some fish seasoning which is um you know from the local brand royal montego yeah just adding some fish seasoning right there and i'm also adding in some herbs dried herbs like you know i have a, a mixture of dried herbs oregano dill you know parsley all of that is just regular dried herbs all right and we'll just add that all right shauna james good morning to you girl good morning good morning good morning all right let me show you the rest of the ingredients yeah we have some some um the tummy um onions um we have curry powder but i'm still not certain on the curry powder we have be um, buttered beans that we're gonna add as well my like butter beans and then over here i have some celery some scallions i have some garlic i have some thyme and i have a couple slices of galangal if you have not used galangal before and you you can find it i found this in my local asian store Galangal is something, it's somewhat like ginger. However, it is way more fragrant. It, it actually smells like a flower. And it does add a very beautiful flavor to your dish. And then I have a, a, a Jamaican, um, it's a habanero. Actually, it's not a scotch bonnet, but you can intermix between the scotch bonnet and the habanero. And then I have some cilantro um, that can be for garnish. All right. So. That's pretty much what we have working with. Naturally, Claver, good morning once again. Um, Shauna James and Ram, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, it doesn't look like Grouper, um, uh, Barrington Christian said, but it is Grouper. Trust me on that one. They use right? Galangal in a lot of Indonesian food. Yes, they do. Mm. Yes, they Barrington do. is a fish specialist. 
It look like Amber Jack. <laughs> Amber Jack. Oh, you can identify it by just looking at the flesh. Well, you know what? You know what? Um, Barrington, at this particular time, we, we, we have been, it was sold to us as, as um group, right? But you know, you can't too trust the commercial market too tough. Mm. So it might just be whatever it is that you, you said it is, but it was, it is being sold as group. All right. Prayer kid, good morning to you. Just saying to myself, it looked like breakfast stuff cook. Why? <laughs> it's one of them days. One of them days. Don't take it personal. <laughs> it looked like naked fish to me. <laughs> <laughs> that is try. I know it's not try. That is try. <laughs> Yeah, man. So sometimes you have to just, again, you can just change it up a little bit, guys. It's not, you know, I, I, I mean, as, I, as we learned quickly, fast and in a hurry, the Jamaican breakfast palate is very limited. Very limited. You, once you have had the six, basically it's the same, maybe six or seven breakfast items that Jamaicans just, just basically recycle every morning. You know, one of the one of each or two of each are the same thing every morning. Trust me. So it's very hard, you know, if you want to do a breakfast type um, program to stay relevant, you know, without having to repeat yourself over and over. So every now and then we have to get creative in the things that we actually put up. you know, and that in itself is very, very tough. It's a tough job. You know, to, 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 to constantly stay um, rele rele relevant. Right, babes? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, you want it curry for true or? Whatever you feel like. That's, as ask the, the people. As the in. cooking spirit ask lady. No, fire spirit. No, ask the people then. Ask them what? If mama's curry or not. Or what? To curry or not to curry. To curry or what? what? You have to give them the options. Or just steam it down, stew it down, that type of thing with some coconut milk. You know? Okay. You Which guys one? heard the question. Should we put curry on it or should we just cook it down with coconut milk? Like a steam, steam rundown like type steam. vibe. Naturally, Cleaver said curry. You get one, one curry, curry boat already. Art of worship say curry and coconut milk, me say the boat. <laughs> Art of worship, me like it, me like your style. Me like your style, Art of worship. Guys, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. You might might have to um just x out the chat for a second hit the thumbs up button and then return by hitting live chat and you're back in business but just give us a thumbs up because the big chef go about to get creative around here all right come over here babe all right so let's go over to the pot. real quick too see what i did was i put a baby about a teaspoon of curry in the pot with the um just the pot that's the regular pot like that and then i'm gonna pour some oil so and, this is what you call burning the curry yeah and i'm just pouring this oil um maxi and say add curry to the fish no tomato no tomato no tomato <laughs> no tomato ketchup especially that's one thing that we don't put tomato in curry all right and see pretty much you're just basically this is basically what you're gonna do and remember when you're doing fish guys you have to be aware that you can't over curry it mm -hmm. because fish is so light in 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 terms of texture and all of that that it will it will absorb the the the, the seasoning readily so you know you don't want to overpower the fish with you know you see the oil dancing you know the pot is hot and ready to yep. receive let me check yep me, 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 do, me do good this time man hmm? this this fish wasn't sold by the pound um 
Barrington. It was sold in a bag. In a, yeah, it was in sold. A, it's, it, it's a sealed bag of fish that we bought. That would say it was frozen. See, when you do this type of fish, it's best to do it in a non-stick pan, you know. Mm -hmm. But, we are working on what we are working on. Yeah? Oh, Trini put um, tomato in their curry. Maxion. Mm, okay. And then curry is also because curry is a is a is a amalgamation of, of different um spices and stuff. You have you have different vibes to curry. Mm -hmm. You have some that are actually tomato based, you have some that are coconut based, you have some you know different base mm -hmm. for the curry. So yeah, yeah, you don't you, it's not a it's not a a, a a hard and fast. Jamaicans we are we're used to our curry being one particular way. Mm -hmm. But the, if you go overseas and to different places in the world, you will quickly see that their version of curry is way different sometimes. You know? Well, amalgamation. <laughs> really? Uh, who said that? Try. Try, leave me alone, try. Yeah? And uh, everything good for set, good for spell. Next time, coat it in cornstarch. Well, it, again, if I'm going for that crispy version of the, of the dish, then the, the cornstarch would be perfect. You know, but at this particular stage, it's actually not... I wasn't going for a crispy version. I was just going for like a stew. All right, so now I'm adding my... my I'm not going to add a second. Let me see something. Because the color payoff is inaccurate. Correct. That's better. This is the true color that we're seeing. The lighting was um, making it have a more of a red color. Okay. And I could have put some more, um, some more um, onion, but yeah. Kim Kim, bless you, bless up, girl, bless up yourself. Good morning to you. We are making curried. Well, we're making. Steamed fish with curry sauce. <laughs> We're making curry fish with coconut milk. We're making, do we have any coconut milk, by the way? <laughs> That's the magic question. <laughs> oh, guys, and over here you have my pot. You guys, ooh, it's hot. Over here you have my pot, and in the pot we have, anybody can tell me what's in my pot? What's in, in my pot, pot stays in my pot. We have three things in my pot. Tell me what's in my pot. The first person can tell me the three things in my pot. Get a plate. <laughs> what do you mean, um, heart of worship? What do you mean? Live crash. <clears throat> that is correct. Pumpkin, banana, and dumpling. So this morning, guys. Hold on, hold on. I'm just showing the, curry, the, the coconut milk now. So we went to buy some stuff and we ambitiously took up a small piece of um yam you know yellow yam <laughs> a small piece of yellow yam and when we got to the cashier the lady was telling us oh seven dollars i'm like what for a small joint of um yellow yam there <laughs> so we just put it back because it's not that serious so we had yellow yam yesterday <laughs> <laughs> No, so, so I guess yellow yam is scarce now, so the price is higher for some reason. It's high. Yes, sir. Oh, you, your thing crashed, man. Auto worship. You're back. <laughs> it didn't crash at all for me. Yeah, we're, we, we have um, a stream watching, and it didn't crash over here either. So I just added some garlic with the coconut milk. I added some garlic and I'm adding a bunch of thyme. 
Mm-hmm. Thyme is very important for flavor and fragrance. And, and I'm adding in the pepper. A whole pepper, you guys. YouTube will fight you out for real. <laughs> Same thing in Montreal. Expensive. You're like, yeah, I, I, I don't get it. Like, I do not understand. So, until yellow yam price go down, mm -mm, no, I got them. Unless it have some miracle benefits. Let me know I have to buy it to get the benefits, then no. It, it gives stamina. <laughs> so, I think our food pot is pretty much ready, but we just, you know, let me turn it down. Too. We pot ready to? Yeah, what do you think? This now, don't bother them with a long cooking in my room. Brethren, you see the meat pot ready. No, sir. No, not a long cooking, man. Try some crushed red pepper. As usual. Mm -hmm. And butter. Hit me up with the grouper link, please. I need to go get some. All right, we got you. You got you, girl. I'm just just rinse my butter bean. Grouper is ten dollars a pound. Wow. We even get the whole group ahead to buy um from that fish spot and um. You know we have the group ahead in the fridge, right? For real? Yeah. And it's very meaty. I like the group ahead. You get the best of both worlds. You get the nice bones. If you're, you're a, if you're a bone lover or a fish head lover, then group ahead is the truth. <laughs> I have to settle for white yam, yellow yam, hard to find. Oh, okay. And you know, I'm not really a fan She of hates white, white yam, yam, guys. Can you believe that? Not all of them nice. I haven't had the nice one since I left Jamaica. All yeah. of them There's nice. There's a very soft one that I get in Jamaica. I know that one that it have a, it start with P. It have a bad word name. <laughs> but I don't know the scientific name, but it have a the bad word. The scientific name is... It have an offensive name. The scientific <clears throat> name is... Pew. <laughs> pew pew. It's mop mop back way. Mop mop back way. Mop mop yam. <laughs> I'm adding in a little bit of my miracle seasoning. Oh, miracle seasoning, you guys. And my miracle seasoning is just basically ginger, garlic, ginger, turmeric, turmeric, apple cider, and all these things. Yeah. And then we're gonna basically finish up with a little butter. Turn it down. The butter beans are already in there. Yeah. And you know, so fish in general is easy to cook. So you can just imagine when it's these small fillet pieces. As you put them in, they pretty much cook. Pretty much. Yeah. Ladies, I don't have a grouper link, but I can hook you up with a grouper link. <laughs> 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 Just a joke. Get fit and done. Which country are you in this morning? Good morning, big up yourself. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. All right. So basically, I'm just going to make this um, continuous steaming a little bit longer. Yeah? Catch some more flavors. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to move on to the plating. So until then, you see that some buttery yellow grits would be perfect with that. For real, I can see it with that. But until then, my heart shall go on. Some caramel dumpling, good too. <laughs> All right, guys. So now we are going to be doing our product feature for the day. Yes, yes, yes. It's none other than the mighty, mighty one true natural. One true natural, you guys. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And don't forget, we have canary uh, um candle on the side, canary ab, uh, which is a business of our very good friend. So you could check her out too. Canary ab uh, candles are all natural. Yeah. So our product line, you guys. They look nicey. Oh my God, they look so nice. Yes. <laughs> looks so nice all right guys so yeah let me get a hold of myself but one true natural you guys if, if you have never heard of the product line before 
then today is your day. Because One True Natural is a life-changing natural hair product brand. And the products are all natural. And guys, we are so proud to bring you only the best quality ingredients in all of our products. Yes, first of all, we have our premier product, which is our Shine of Mine. And anyone who has ever used this blend of oil can attest to the fact that it is an amazing oil to treat the scalp it is amazing to keep the hair nice and healthy looking if you guys would like to um give your hair a nice luster a healthy kind of look <laughs> a nice luster and a healthy look and if you want to keep your hair moisturized you guys let me give you a secret if you've never heard it before whether you're a male or a female a boy or a girl if you want your hair to look nice and healthy and remain moisturized, you have to incorporate the use of this oil in order to seal in the moisture into your hair. The oil is also great for your skin. Straight out of the shower, guys, without even drying the skin off, when you add some of this to your skin, these natural ingredients will help to keep the, the skin also moisturized. In this cold time, regardless of where you are, I can tell you that the, the, the temperature is cool because we're in sunny Florida. And trust me, we're turning on the, the heater. So we know that wherever you are, it's going to be cooler this time of year. And so you want to keep your skin here and everybody part moisturized, mm -hmm. correct? Correcto. Correcto. So, yeah, our one true natural shine of mine nourishing oil blend. <laughs> All right, so the next product we have is pure Jamaican black castor oil. And guys, do not get it twisted, do not get it wrong. All Jamaican black castor oils are not created equal. equal. I can tell you from I was a consumer using the oil, I can, you know attest to the fact that they are not the same quality the ones that you see in some of these stores they are not authentic they are mixed with other oils you know and all of these stuff but i can tell you guys this is straight from the farm yes this oil comes directly from jamaica which is also very important if it boasts um being jamaican castor oil it has to come from jamaica so we source this from a farmer and the oil is all natural nothing is adding not even a little bit of salt no nothing. no nothing it's the real deal and it is good for dry scalp also it is amazing for hair growth and for thickness and i can tell you guys if you're having any challenges in terms of your hair with shedding or thinning or you know it just doesn't want to grow yeah just try jamaican black castor oil i need to show you guys how nice and golden this oil is yes look at that thickness look 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 just it. look oh my gosh yeah i see it it's so thick so thick and yeah and also our last but by no means least our final product is the Jama well a castor oil mascara mm -hmm. it's also a castor oil based product but it is designed to be used on the brows and the lashes and you guys can see it has a typical mascara one for easy application and this will help to regrow your lashes and your brows if you have issues with falling um lashes or if your brows need thickening this is amazing for that purpose and guys this morning i'm in a very good mood so guess what for the first five viewers on the yardy belly tv that place an order within the next 24 hours of either the shine of mine or the castor oil i will throw in a free castor oil mascara for you guys Awesome. So this is what you will have to do. Just follow us on um, Instagram at One True Natural, and as soon as you place your order, just send us a DM with your name and the word Yardy, and you will automatically get a free castor oil mascara with your order. So yeah. So if you want to order, the website is www. Dot Etsy. Dot com forward slash 
forward slash shop forward slash one true natural. Yeah. So the thing says, and I've gone ahead and added the, the link to the chat and it's also going to be in the description box. So go ahead and check them out. Again, you guys, One True Natural on Instagram, Facebook, and then our link, www.etsy.com slash shop slash One True Natural. Go ahead, place your order today for your chance to be one of the first five to get a free castor oil mascara also guys we have valentine's day coming up and so we will be offering the entire set as a gift set if you would like to order for the love of your life yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome 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 all right so food time just so? Full time. Full time. Just so? Full time. Just so? So guys, I do hope that that, pre that presentation did a very good job in terms of, you know, highlighting um, some of your, your concerns which are here. Mm -hmm. This morning, we are, we are um, giving, doing a giveaway as well, the first five persons to order from uh, One True Natural will receive a free mascara and if you notice my eye my eyelash my, oh the eyebrow sorry the eyebrows is so on fleek it's because <laughs> of the mascara because you know she does use the the Jamaican black castor oil mm -hmm. um yeah so i mean i'm i'm, I'm not only a, 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 a supporter of it but i'm also a customer yes 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 <laughs> so this morning we made a very very delicious you want you which which color plate you want to use uh, white. white plate you sure mm. because because what i'm thinking red would not make the curry pop <laughs> shelly shelly i laughed you say on fleek you're, you're old style, like old I know, style. right? Who says auntie? Alright, alright. My eyelash, no, let me just say it then. My eyelash have a buzz. My eyebrow have, have a, a buzz. buzz. It have a buzz. <laughs> you understand? So right through. Right through. Only Jamaicans would understand that. <laughs> Coffee's right. Kitchen, good morning. Hey, Coffee can me like a rapture. And everybody get captured. Uh, hey. Yeah, they pop like a like When you see the lyrics. <laughs> you know what's so the first video you're wearing the song there? What does that mean? It means we haven't seen coffee, coffee for a while. Year. Happy New Year to you, girl. Happy New Year. <laughs> Kim Kim, you know, Kim, 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 you see where I'm going? You see where I'm going, right? Eh? Naturally, Cleaver, I don't know what is happening. I, I'm just here, you know, I, I mean... I, I can't, I can't, no, I cannot. I don't know what's happening. What? You know, this, this high misbehaving, I mean, yeah, coffee draw them out, you know. <laughs> oh my God. You know what, guys? So, all right. So you said white plate, right? Anybody else say, guys, yeah, let me I, just tell you no from now. White plate, two plate, plate with us. White and red. Should we use white or would it look better on a red plate if it's curry? A two plate we have. So it's either white or red. So make up on a choice right now. Okay? Maybe we should do two plates today. You need to do two plates? Mm -hmm. No, sir. Why? Because no, I'm ready to eat. Then we're not going to share yours in the, in the guest plate. Sissy, Edlin, I'm here now. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Um, uh, Gay, gay, gay Joyce <laughs> channel in Europe. Good morning to you. Yeah. Europe's in the house. Hey. Um, hey. All of the different countries, <laughs> Jandos, they use the white plate. Okay, white. Let me say white. All right. So, yeah, cards. I mean, I, as I say, I two plate one. Right? So, Bills, mm -hmm. you can go ahead and start the sharing. Um, guys, she is going to be sharing her ground provision and all those other things. And then, you know, so that. I, I did something while she was doing her, her presentation, so she's not really aware of what's going on in my pocket. But I had to, you know, mm -hmm. 
Where do you want to do? Okay, I Where do you look for? Here. No, if they use a fork, it's gonna break up the banana. You have to use an egg lifter. It's a stuff thing. Use the egg lifter. You see, she grab it from me, guys. You see that? You wanna see that, right? I didn't know. She grabbed it from me. You understand? I mean, I feel so so hurt about it. You know? She just grab it so. So we need to get some. We're gonna, we're gonna try to get some new plate in our life. Um, because, see, don't put two of them, them um, punk in there because the they never say it look like spider foot and all of that, remember? <laughs> 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 so guys, this morning, this morning, you know, I just want to encourage, um, you know, you guys that are on, encourage each of us, guys. Let me tell you one of my, um, I'm going to be a little bit transparent right now. So I struggle you know, for a long time, I have been struggling with bouts of depression. And when this time comes on, it's one of the most difficult period of my entire life. You know, because you get locked into yourself and you cannot see you cannot see anything positive happening around you, no matter what is happening around you. You can't see it as positive. You, you are con you're in a place where you just keep on beating yourself over the, the, the shoulder. You know, you keep on burdening yourself and your thoughts are bombarded with just negative, you know, um, self-hating thoughts, self-loathing thoughts. You, you, you feel like you are worthless. That type of thought, those thought patterns keep re resurfacing and regurgitating and, and it's, it's, it sinks you so deep. You don't want to talk to nobody. You don't want, you don't want to have any conversation. You don't want to be anywhere. You wish you could have just fall off of the earth. You know, um, and that's, that's something that happens periodically with me. And it's, it's not a nice place to be, you know. Um, I know my family goes through it with me because them see the vibe and them see, you know, when we start um, shut down and be quiet and not, not you know, um, wanting to talk to nobody, you know. But that's a time, ladies and gentlemen, that I would recommend that we talk more. You know, everybody has to be with some form of depression. Everybody, especially now when it's so stressful, when every turn you turn, life is trying to, to, to beat you over the head with something. You know, the concerns and the, the different issues that come up, it just, it's just a lot. It's a lot, guys. Trust me. You know, and I, 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 I preach every now and then at church. You know, I'm, just, I'm a youth leader and youth pastor. And you, try, you are the one supposed to be encouraging people, but it's so hard. I'm just being real. And, and you know, as I said, it's so hard. And it's not something that you can just say, all right, I'm, I'm not going to be depressed and just move on. It's, it don't work like that. If it did work, so I could have encouraged myself and, and, and just walk away. And you don't want to find yourself in a state where you put your anything like medication in your body. Because if you become dependent on, on head medicine and, and them synthetic things there and all of them things there, you can mess up yourself. You know, it's just a place and just something that you have to deal with. And it's a constant battle, you know. But this morning, as I said, I might not be the only person who... Every now and then, ever so often, um, you know, face it. I might not be the only person who struggle with it, you know. And so, guys, I just wanted to really and truly, you know, come on here and, and just, you know, and say that, you know, it's, it's, it's really tough. It's really tough. And it's always encouraging when I come on on my life. I promise you guys. And the, the wife, you can attest to it. Right, babes? You know, I before my life starts sometimes, I am so frustrated and ah, that whole, the whole demeanor. But once I see the encouragement and we laugh a little bit and, you know, try to come on and Kim, Kim, come on and all of them come on. Wait, why would you do that, baby? Yeah. Why would you try to burn yourself? I'm here talking about depression and you're burning yourself over there. Eh? We have hand towel. 
See, them come with hand towel, it's a foreign thing. You get your bike at the store, it, it, and, it, and it work. Yeah, so you know, so yeah, you can try it. Huh? Mm -hmm. So, guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you know, um, this is something that we all face. Well, for the most part, people face them different bouts of depression for different reasons. But when you when you talk about clinical de clinically depressed, it's it's difficult more because because it's not something that you know what bring it on. Sometimes sometimes there's nothing that triggers your bouts of depression. You just find yourself in a slump before you realize. And this is why the Bible is so. The Bible says, "Take captive every thought, capture every thought that comes into your mind." Because if you don't capture every thought that comes into your mind, then some thoughts are allowed to run rampant. And let me tell you about thoughts. Thoughts come from, from external stimuli. Thoughts don't originate inside your head. It comes from a, a cause. It comes from a, a reason. It comes from an external stimuli. You know, and so you have to capture them and you have to filter them and you have to say this thought is not the right thought. This thought is not. And then, I mean, during the times of depression, you have to be processing because you're aware that you're in this state. You're aware that something is going on that's not supposed to go on, but it'll go on. So you have to be in the middle of the, the, the depression, battling the depression, capturing the thoughts, being aware that you're in that state of depression so you don't erratically behave or, or act up or do anything that is unnecessary or, you know, or, or, or detrimental. And then some or the other, something else, another thought, another occurrence, another cause triggers the release and you come out of the, out of the depression. That's just my assessment. I'm not a doctor or anything. I'm just talking about what's happening with me. You know? And I'm telling you, the reason why I'm being transparent is because I know that there are folks who are struggling with issues that they cannot relate it's not relatable it's not like them can open them out and say this is what i'm struggling with some people just have to fight it on their own but i'm telling you it there is a relief there is a release and the knowledge of god and the acceptance that there is a god and 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 the the, the belief in in his in his, his providence and his his help it also is a big aid Sometimes you can't share your issues with other Christians, but you can pray about it. And, and, and you know, because sometimes other Christians are the worst. Because they judge you and them, them formulate their own opinion based on, you know, sometimes in, in order to help somebody, they have to tear you down. Some of them too fast, they want to know the, the ins and the outs, they want to know the ups and the downs when all they all the need to do is just show you so they can pray for you or... You know, and then they walk away with an opinionated version of you. You know, you, you see, you see, sent up, sent up, sent up, depressed, you know. Eh, eh, him, him, so what? He must struggle, you know, boy. You know, he must go kill himself. Have some, some crazy things people will formulate opinions on with that, that, that has nothing to do with it. So, yes, you don't want to even share your vibes sometimes, you know. But, guys, in all things, understand that there is a God. And it's important to read the scriptures. I, I'm not talking about religion now. I'm talking about a life, um, a, 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 a moral code, a moral, a moral code, and just instruction. Because sometimes I read the scriptures, guys, and that's the message that comes back to your mind in the middle of your depression. You know, like it, like like the passage that says. Um, all things work for good to those who love God and work called according to his purpose. That's a great reminder that, yeah, God have your ear for a reason. You see me? And so don't get, don't get bottled down in, in thinking that you're not worth anything or you're worthless because God have your ear for a reason. You know? And then the other one that says, I wish that you prosper and be in good health. And you say, yeah. That means say, this is God's wish for me. That God's mind is that he wants me to be better, to prosper, and also be healthy. So, you know, you have to keep on re re revisiting those, those passages and put them back in your head space, you know, so that you, you don't get caught up, yeah? But, guys, as we said, each other we support each other, and that's, that, that's pretty much where we're... 
I, I want my channel to be a support, not just to cook food and we laugh, but that, you know, when, when we go through with issues, we feel like there's a safe space where we can relate and that people can relate to us. And, you know, if somebody else is experiencing the things that we are experiencing, you know, and, and I, let me tell you something about this lady right here. So, you see that lady right here, so sorry. She just burn her hand. I'm so sorry for your hand, baby. Push your, push your baby bun her hand. <laughs> <laughs> but she has to, she has to be part of the, the support system. And in a situation where she knows, say, for instance, if, if, if it's one of those days when, when I'm frustrated and angry inside of myself, then I can turn the spotlight around and start to lash out and she a part of who I'm lashing out at. And so she, a, she start to learn how to accommodate me and at the same time try to encourage me. And I quickly have to see her in that supporting role because may I tell you straight up guys, and every woman can deal with her husband where just get quiet, sit on one place in one corner, for hours, don't want to come in the bedroom, don't talk to your son. You just in like you're in a one zone, like a zombie I walk around the whole place. This morning, this morning we went out on the road real quick and guys, if ever saw me look on the road, me never realized until I come out of the, the one of the store and see her and laugh. And she said, never dash with that pants the way I have because you look like sadly like a madman. You look like a solid madman. And funny enough, me see the people them look for me in the store, you know. See, they were looking. Can normally me cute. See, no, no, you know normally me is a cute youth in the store. But this morning, me don't know what happened. Me just look disheveled and look mad. Honestly. And then I looked at myself and I was like, wow. You know, and I had to laugh. Me, I had to literally laugh. I never laugh out because again, you know, me never in other vibes. But me laugh because she couldn't help herself. She knew that laughing at me was it could be 50-50 that me get mad and get angry. And she took the risk. And I had to see myself. So sometimes again, me learning how to look at myself existentially, step out of myself and look at myself and see how other people perceive me. Because like one of the things where she said this man, she said, are you going to have a good day today? And again, normally I'm going to answer her with some type of snide remark or something, you know. But this man, I never do that. I just try to hold it, you know, and thing and thing. So again, guys, I'm just, I'm just thankful and encouraged by her love you know and her acceptance of my issues because not many women will accept their their spouse with with issues you know right boo mm -hmm. do you have anything to add to that little conversation i want to hear from your side i mean obviously it's not something that you are happy to be around because you don't want to see a spouse in that funk you want to know that the person around you is happy and then in some sense of the word you're wondering how did you contribute to it or how can you fix it a lot of questions come and for me it's not necessarily good for my personality guess why because my mood is easily morphed so i will get up in the morning um, in an awesome mood, great mood, and if I wake up to him being down, it's like I'm, I'm automatically, you know, in a, in a bad mood or, you know, feeling low or feeling down as a result of his whole vibe. So, I mean, not everybody's like that, but sad, sadly, I'm like that. And sadly for him, I'm like that because you want to know that people around you are um, demonstrating the opposite vibe, right? Right, right, right. When right. you're down, you would love to know that somebody around you is... So we can feed off of that energy right. too, you know, but then but she I feed up the ice slump. Yeah, I feed off of, usually my mood feeds off of... Um, and I tell her to stop feed off of me, I stop <laughs> cook, I cook no more, she need to stop feed off of me. You get what I say? 
But yeah. <laughs> but, but a lot of times, like, if I get up and jump around and we start doing something together, then you see where he starts to, you know, get more vibesy and, you know, become more jovial. So, I mean, it's just something that we have to work with each other on and pray about, like most people say. And thankfully, it's not something that happens very often. It's just a one-off thing for him, you know? It's just every now and then, it, it just out of the blue happen. And as he, as he said, there's no trigger. Like, we, we can't detect what the trigger is, you know? So, but it, just it's just to try to work with it. I think it's scary. You can show them the finish. It is scary for me because it's not, I don't want to be the person who have, who have um, an issue. And so you try to avoid, you know, the issue, but then it happens again and you have to just deal with it, <laughs> you know? It's crazy, just crazy, I guess. All right, so finishing now. So there you have it guys, my curry group of filet with butter beans and I took the liberty of putting in some okras. Mm, you look good, buddy, no? You look good? Hey man, this look good. Guys, how we look? So if, if you like it, drop a thumbs up guys. If you love it, drop a thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, go ahead guys and hit the thumbs up button because this here plate, <laughs> mm, come, come through with the pricing guys. Come through, come through with the pricing with a glass of ginger beer on the side. <laughs> what, ginger beer? I think so. Yeah, run the ginger beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make some of that for my breakfast on Saturday morning. Okay. <laughs> This looks so good. I'm not lying. I'm not even going to cap. <laughs> Here you know. I'm not even going to cap. Web venture, guys. <laughs> web venture, oh, well, look. Can't eat this in the morning. Too heavy. Then just box out the, the dumpling and the banana and eat the pumpkin alone. Who said too heavy? Barrington. Because the fish is light. I know the fish is not the problem. Barrington. So box out the dumplings and one of the banana and you're good to go. Or just eat half the amount. For real. Mm-hmm. How are you doing 780 people? <laughs> My, <laughs> so yeah, the belly, if it makes you feel better, Barrington, say you look cute. <laughs> and get fit and done also. <laughs> <laughs> Not me to those guys. <laughs> no sour sap, no naturally cle naturally cleaver. Some some things in our culture, a special occasion thing. We don't just randomly have some Sour sap just chilling in the fridge. Just chilling. That's and like a, a sour syrup. That's usually a Sunday evening, Sunday dinner thing. Yeah. <laughs> so no, we don't have any sour sap. Today. Today. But you know something? You know how long we have some frozen sour sap, real sour sap that we need. I'm gonna make it today. Wow. I'm inspired. I'm gonna make some sour sap juice today. And we have the, the frozen sour sap pulp but directly from Jamaica. I like it with milk though. I don't know if I like the lemon. So make it with milk then? Yeah, I'm gonna make it with condensed. I'm gonna do it the traditional Sunday din Sunday dinner way. With some um condensed milk, nutmeg, vanilla. It's not nutmeg. Oh, what? It's nutmeg. Nutmeg? Yes, it's nutmeg. Nothing egg. Banana looks so good. Long time and I taste piece of really Osh. Oh, I have done like a lemon wedge. Guys, no man, this is so good. I'm not even gonna lie. Love it. So can't good. wait on a special day. Every day is special. If I for eat real? this now, I can't eat anything for the rest of the day. Kim Kim. If you eat this, you don't want you know, nothing for the rest of the, the, day. Rest of the day. And by right, we are not one person not supposed to eat this in one go. That's too much food for one sitting. Half of this is good, and then in another three hours, they come eat the other half. That's the right way to eat. Good morning, Sunshine Vibes TV. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember to hit that subscribe button. We appreciate each person that has joined us this morning. 
Yeah, and me tell you what me feel like could have put on this again. Well, not put on it, but eat with it. Some cucumber. Some nice, you know? Or avocado. Or okay. avocado. Oh, just start earth on the egg now, you know, <laughs> man. Sure, I said it's look like $15. Try, I yeah. tell you, I tell you that fifteen dollar tart there sound like it at it. Right, right, right. No man, passionate for God. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Thank you so much, guys. Look at the look at what passionate just right. Yeah. If you guys want to support our channel, you can by just clicking on the in the description box and you know send us a little thing, a little something, thing, thing, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we appreciate each and every person's input. Yeah, that's what the thing said. You think and do it. But guys, let me tell you something. If you really and truly think about making, like doing a food channel or doing, you know, food on the regular, you start to quickly see how... One to you. At the sample plate that my girl... She of course... She of course that... Is not butter bean, it's pinto bean. A butter bean. Yeah. <laughs> Barrington, why are you cu why you're cussing the I people? Mean, you're mixing it up with broad bean, you know. See, a butter bean. How is this pinto bean? Isn't pinto bean like um, super small? Like a butter bean, like a like, baked bean? Like baked bean, yeah. Pinto bean with them you use make um. Mm -hmm. Does this the bean alone? Not even taste the fish, the bean alone. But could I eat a plate of the bean alone? Yeah? Yes. And the pepper, they just nice and it just vibes it. Eh? Mm -mm. No, hold on, you have to crush the banana. If you eat this and not crush the banana, you don't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Try to add some castor oil to your drinks and the food won't be heavy. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, guys, you see, you see where I go on now? She's supposed to be sampling the food and look where I go on over there. So. Mm -hmm. Somebody over there working the food. This is good. It's good? I did a good job? Yep. Awesome, 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 awesome. I don't me like me like when you when you when you enjoy the food. Me not telling a lie, my girl. You know? Mm -hmm. Why you gone? Mm -hmm. Oh stay right there. Stay right there. Mm -hmm. Let me go clean up the place. Yeah. It's a good thing that um adventure in a school. Mm -hmm. Don't it? Fish anyway. <clears throat> so I'm gonna make one, one chicken dish for breakfast one day for adventure. Mm -hmm. And guys, let me tell you something. Um, curry is 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 one of those dish that you can you can be very it's very versatile. So you can go light with it. You don't have to go heavy. Like not every single curry dish needs to be like curry goat. You know, curry goat, guys, um, a lot of times curry goat is, is quite heavy. The, the, the amount of curry, the amount of curry that you use, the, the heaviness of the meat and all of that. Anybody normally cook pumpkin and eat it like this or just us? I mean, I like pumpkin, but it tastes good. Oh, you put mm -hmm. capers in it? Mm -hmm. Guys. You need to buy capers to put in any one of your fish dish that you make. Capers is the bomb. Good morning to Adachi. Ad I'm trying to pronounce that name. Adachiga. Adachiga Beauty. Good morning to you. Um, thank you for joining us. You know what? I, I like the fact that beautiful people attract beautiful people. Because true, Adachi had no some cute. <laughs> you know, she does come on and thing and thing. I mean, like that. I mean, like it. Yeah, it have a buzz at that shit. Have a buzz. What fish you run out? Um, Barrington said pumpkin good for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like pumpkin. So, oh, you done the fish and you not reached to the dumpling yet? Yeah, go back. You know what? I think when you was a child, when you was a child, the, your parents used to take out back the meat out of your plate, don't it? 
No. Yes, Papiso. Let me just separate the food. My piece said I need to take over the dumpling of their plate because by doing that, when like somebody if somebody big come out of the yard, them say, um, give me back the dumpling there. That never used to happen to us. <clears throat> that happened to me. Mm -hmm. That's why me bite my dumpling first. Me, me bite the fish. Me bite the, sorry, the meat first. What do you mean, sir? What? No, no, but the, you That's know. That's oh, mean. Go on, my girl, on a, every day we used to get one piece of chicken, like a leg or a wing for ourselves. Sometimes we have to get half a leg or joint a wing. Mm -hmm. And then you go get all of, all of chicken thigh. And when you look, somebody come at the house. Then come back for the thigh. You must see mad. <laughs> so you bite it first. Me bite that first. <laughs> and pala pala it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. A uh, dumpling, you have to bite that first. Eat off the dumpling fast. Eat the worst, the worst thing in the plate, eat it last. Me always leave the favorite thing last because that's what I want to savor. You grow up spoiled. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 you grow up spoiled. If you grew up like how I grew up, you very well gonna name that dumpling first and name that chicken leg first. Or else you might lose it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So stay there. You're working on the food truck. I wish I was working on the food truck. But I don't have money for the food. Much We're going to start truck. a GoFundMe for that. Would you guys donate to it if we started a GoFundMe? I think so. If you guys say you would do it, then I'm going to start the GoFundMe. Food truck. And okay. the first place where we are going with the GoFundMe with the food truck is Maryland. Mm. May I drive the food truck to Maryland? I'm gonna park up right outside our trolley. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna bring red pepper. Wait, where else you recipe to bring? Um. And then may I leave go with Barrington live and, and may I make sure that Barrington tell me what to cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, passionate says she saved the best for last too. passionate I'm so sorry for you guys you understand Jalen says yes good idea guys trust me this morning we, we, we made it yeah if you just seeing us and you have to bring try some girls <laughs> I know right trust me no man. Mm -mm. Guys, we have to close out the live now. May I tell you the truth? No, sir. So that we can get to eat for real breakfast. <laughs> Many need another. Many need somebody else to be the, the, the TS tester for Yard Belly TV. Wow. It, it now work out. Dash? Come here, come to taste the food. Good morning, Joshua. I'm gonna like this one. Boy, your head look how weird this man in there. Oh, how did you know, Joshua? How did you look like a like homeless up? No, man. Joshua, come, come show the people how you look homeless. You look speechless. I can see myself. You soon see yourself, don't worry. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Derry Berry says she was the food truck brother up here, yeah, but she too far. Where? See, she shared she some food for Joshua. Where is Derry Berry? Derry Berry is in New York City via um, Brooklyn. Not too far from the drive. Via. Out of worship, me now drive come out of worship yard because from the time out of worship supposed to come here. Hmm? I know, right? She even drive past we guys and go um Atlanta. She could have even asked the plane driver to stop the plane and, and, and come look for me and she don't come. Derryberry in Jamaica. Derryberry, we are take the food truck to Jamaica. <laughs> Remember me tell you. Where Out of worship, please tell us when you're coming up. You understand? So that we can make sure there's food in the house. <laughs> we can cook some sardine for you. <laughs> prayer kid, prayer kid, Bex. Why? 
Because he said, how oh, the food truck passed ATL and gone all the way to Maryland. I know. Wow. Prayer kid, you know what so I tell you. I feel, I hurt about it, prayer kid. Prayer kid, that's it. We know about to go to Maryland. We come in right here. <laughs> Out of worship, she said she don't want no sardine. <laughs> you know what so I said? Sardine we eat last night, though. I tell you that straight. No. <laughs> Guys. Trust me. Guys, can we um, do a, a GoFundMe to um, help take down the Christmas tree? Because <laughs> it is getting too much now. This Christmas tree, I need to go. Or we might just, um, might just do a, a, a Valentine's tree. Yeah, leave it up and decorate it for Valentine's Day. And then leave it up and decorate it for Easter's. Mm -hmm. And then leave it and decorate it. Alright, come back. Barrington is giving you a compliment. I have to say, Miss Yardy looking good. Yes, she is. Yes, Thank she you. is. That's because that you notice how quick me change the camera around and put it on me. Wow. Because listen, a I do not want nobody turning up on me yard and knocking on my gate. You understand? Asking to speak to my uncle wifey. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, so, hold on there. I turn, I suppose I turn the camera on. Hold on a minute. Let me turn this camera around. Yes. <laughs> Joshua, how the food? You know, I'm no big word for it today. <laughs> it not taste flamboyant. It tastes like fish. <laughs> I don't like fish. Yeah, a fish is all but still. It, it still tastes pretty good though. Mm -hmm. Maybe awesome. you say I'm supposed to say something not like fish. Uh, Maybe so. You know, when it's something tastes so nice, you're like, it's still fish. All right, guys. So let me show you once again the plate, the finished plate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my finished dish for today. Here we go. And this is my coconut curry grouper fillet with butter beans and a little bit of okra added. And it's served with ground provisions, green banana, pumpkin, and some cornmeal dumpling. Yeah? Ginger beer. And then we have a little ginger beer on the side for good measures. Yeah? And guys, this is very quick and very easy to make. And of course, if you want the recipe, please DM Yardy Belly TV because I used to put the recipe in the description box and stuff, but it's tata -ta hard. Yeah. And so, guys, continue to pray for us, guys. Continue to pray for us. We, 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 we crave your support. We crave your prayers and thing and thing. It's not, it's not an easy road. And many see the glamour and the glitter and them think a better roads, but... Who feels it knows? Boy, 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 boy. Lord help me sustain these damn um, goals. Josh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I look power. Josh, I look power is crazy. <laughs> yeah. But guys, it is we, we we are just trying to do the best we can. Yeah. Guys, I have a very special treat for you. I am going to be making Salomon Gundy. Yeah. Now let me ask a question. Should I make a recorded video or should I make do it live? Let me know. Let me know. Do you guys prefer recorded videos or live videos? Let us know. And should he do the Solomon Grande live or recorded? Yeah. So yeah. But yeah, man, I did wish this today. And um Okay, Bojo, come true. <laughs> <laughs> And we just thank you for the support and, and we're glad you like it. And we do hope that you will join us again on Tuesday for dinner. We're doing dinner live on Tuesday at around, say, around 5 o'clock. Guys, another thing again. We, we, trust me. 5 on Tuesdays and 10 on Thursdays. That's our regular schedule live. 5 on Tuesdays and 10 on Thursdays. But every now and then we will go live, you know, if we have something pressing or something exciting or if we're just in the mood. Jalen says live. Derry Berry says, I love the lives for interactivity. Shelly Alien says live. 
Yolanda B says live. I can always rewatch. Okay, so guys, we're going to take it at, at, um, you know, and Diva run with it. Diva Forever says I love recorded videos, but live is also good. You can mix up half and half. Because guys, we, you know, we want to make some stupies and we, we don't know if we want to go live with it or record it because, you know, we just want to do something nice. But like when the people them see the finished dish and see the reaction and get the response. Mm -hmm. So, but we really want to make some stupies with some um, um, turkey neck. Mm -hmm. We have big steel in them. Where? In the freezer. It's not going to be nice. It, in the, you know, like... Guys, I try to avoid the whole for salty, salty food and... and well, avoid the soup is then. No turkey neck. No hmm? turkey neck. No, I agree. No grundy either. No grundy? Burger. Is that what I'm with you? No grundy. No grundy either. <laughs> no grundy either. Burger. Is that right for you? Uh, it's, uh, no fish. <laughs> no fish. We can't feed you with them farin sitting in my yacht. The whole of a farin something them where you want in here. It will make your belly run. Guys, we're trying with our mango tree, but it just won't come up. <laughs> the mango tree out there is struggling. Oh, I can't show you the, the, um, the screen. <laughs> you see our mango tree right there? All right, so you close out the live. Tell the people and say you'll talk to them again in the future. And all those We will talk stuff. to you guys in the future. We will talk to you on Tuesday evening. Manga tree stuck. Please and thanks. My stupid of the live. No replay. <laughs> no delay on the stupid. Yeah, we need to cook some stupid. Come around. I have lock out the thing. I have lock out the thing proper. Okay, guys? I have lock out the thing proper. So, on behalf of this young lady here, and, that and young gentleman over there, we just want to say thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. We appreciate each and every one of you. Remember to live and laugh, cook, cook and eat. eat, enjoy your weekend. Make we see what will happen if Stu Peas are going to run or Salomon Grundy are going to run or Shrimp. I don't know. Five don't know. Burger. <laughs> well, how about you start cooking some stuff? Yeah, yeah. That, well, how about that? So without further ado, make her run it the right way and, sure, and leave you know, guys with a little word of, of prayer. Father, we just ask, Lord, that you cover each and every person, those who are dealing with issues that cannot be verbalized, vocalized. We ask, Lord God, that you would just uh, meet them at the point of their greatest needs. Father, for every single person that reach out, that has been a part of our life, we just ask, Lord God, that you give them a good weekend, that, Lord God, you, each person's uh, 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 different issue, you know, may not be known by everybody, but you know them, Lord God. Father, we just pray blessings and safety. We pray, Lord God, that you would just give insights, Lord God, give uh, uh, ideas, and, and, and Father, just open doors that, are, that were seemingly shut. And Father, just make, let it be that persons who are listening to us, Lord God, be encouraged by being around us. And whatever light we can, sh we can shine and spread, Father, help us to do so. Father, we thank you once again for who you are, and we pray, Lord God, that you continue to be the author and the finisher of our faith. For we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, have yourself a good day, and we bless up the Lord for everybody. Remember, live and laugh. Cook. Hey, by the way, guys, I have lost some weight. Oh, I just want you guys to see how thick I am and how flat the belly is. You can't raise no rat eye ass my girl. Them things then not work when you're thick like me, you know? Watch it. Wow. Muscles, watch it.
here and the belly get flat. <laughs> After we did that about muscles, um, tree beans, chili, that sound like a, a mimic chili con carne. Chili con carne. I'm going to make that next. We see the belly tucking in, you know. Derry Berry, please. Derry, you know. Derry Berry, you know, say, why me do it? After, Derry, watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Eh? No, I forgot the prayers out. I just did. Where was he? Try, I just prayed or something. You take a pause or something. <laughs> <laughs> but, guys, thank you so much for watching today. We now stay no longer. We're 15 minutes past our bedtime. So, obviously, yeah, <laughs> obviously, but good day and uh, peace <laughs> in the Middle East. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, yeah. Close up the light. Close up the light. Close up the light. Live, live, live. Yeah, the bear is still alive. <laughs> live in the kitchen. We're done with the cooking. Live, live, live. Hey, remember, for the order on uh, one true natural products, you know. Monopoly, what do you know? Go order the The thing. first five persons to order today win themselves. Uh, Mascara from One True Natural. Mm -hmm. A beautiful mascara made with cod liver oil. <laughs> Jamaican back <laughs> Bye. <laughs>